One of the things that were displayed in Ukraine, so let's take a look at this, is drone swarms. Now, I'm sure some of you have heard this before. This is becoming an, an increasingly common thing that we're starting to see, whether it's in the Middle East stuff uh, or the Ukraine stuff, or um, um, there's even some stuff like Azure, uh, Azerbaijan and stuff that are starting, starting to see the term drone swarms being used more often. While relatively new, I mean, they're not really new, but the commonality of them is a little bit new. They have been around for a while, but are becoming increasingly more used and effective. If you don't know what a drone swarm is, is basically it's C4 with wings and there's a ton of them all at the same time. You swarm your enemy with these drone weapons, whether explosive drones or if they have guns on them or not. And you overwhelm them. Now, this is a tactic that's been done for centuries. You even go back to things like Genghis Khan. He was known for swarming his opponent where he would have riders on horses. And you surround the enemy from the outskirts, and then everybody comes in and swarms them. So there's no way for them to get around, There's and they're pretty much done. Well, in today's modern technology, you're, they're utilizing the same military tactics, but with drones. You surround the enemy with these flying or ground drones, and then you send them all in at the same time. They become overwhelmed, and there's nowhere for them to escape. So that's what a drone swarm essentially is. Now, even going back to 2018, DARPA has been increasing the power and effect of drone swarms by working on allowing soldiers to interact with over 250 drones at a time. Think about that. 250 drones surrounding a thing all coming in at the same time. Can you beat that? Good luck. That's what they're doing with. And so DARPA has been working on increasing the effectiveness and the number of that. That's a whole lot of drones coming at you. With the offset program, DARPA is looking to expand their drone swarm abilities utilizing virtual reality, voice, and gesture technology. So now they want to have these soldiers that can utilize 250 drones at the same time with either just a command of the voice or just a swipe of their hand and let them all go and do what they got to do. That's what they're advancing on. You certainly know artificial intelligence is involved in that in some way, shape, or form. That's not good. This is in addition to the thought control programs. If you thought that was bad, here we go. In addition to DARPA's thought controlled programs, where soldiers can control three drones at a time using only their thoughts via a BCI or brain computer interface. So you won't need a voice, you won't need a hand gesture, you don't need a tablet or a computer or anything like that. The soldier, three at a time, can think it and they'll do it. That's what DARPA has been working on. That's what they're telling us. Now, a rule of thumb that I always stick by is they've got technology at least 10 years advanced from what they're telling us. Something tells me that they've got stuff a lot more sinister than that. When, or possibly already working now, will a person be able to control all 250 drones with what they call telepathic piloting? Imagine one person, you know where I'm going with this, Imagine one person being able to control all drones with a thought. I don't think that's something that we don't we we necessarily think about too often. We talk about how he's going to have the Antichrist is going to have control of AI with demonic intelligence and all these things. Just imagine being able to have full control of all the technology like that something in his head. Do you really want to be here for that? This is another step in merging man with machine, connecting a brain to artificial intelligence. 
And with the expansion of drone swarms, the U.S. is increasing their control over it by working on low-cost EMP weapons to drop or to stop. I guess drop to drop the drone swarms. So if we take a look, it's coming from sam.gov. This is usually where like U.S. military, Department of Defense, uh, RAND, um, DARPA, they post contracts on here for uh, military contractors to um, take on uh, stuff that they're looking for. Um, I've shown stuff from this website before. It is official. Um, but yeah, they've got a contract out for electromagnetic pulse, EMP, defense against unmanned aircraft systems, UAS. So they're trying to basically come up with a way in order to shut down a drone, drone swarm with something cost effective and small um, on this. So if you look at the descriptions on this stuff, the service outlined the drone killing feature of the new EMP weapon it is seeking. The Air Force Research Laboratory is conducting market research to seek information from industry on the landscape of research and development for available EMP solutions towards countering multiple unmanned aircraft systems. EMP solutions should be uh, could be ground and or aerial base that provide effective uh, mitigation against DOD UAS groups. One, two, so basically drone swarms. That's what they're looking for on that. So... With the advancement of the BCI, AI, and policy allowing AI to choose who lives and who dies. Yeah, we talked about that like a couple weeks ago. Uh, they want AI to choose, not only choose who to kill, but they want AI to then pull the trigger on it as well. Again, you're entering a place that there's no going back from. Skynet, everybody. Um, again, it's mind-blowing how we're at this point. It really is. But with the BCI and AI and all these things, having a small, cheap EMP to down swarms is probably a good thing to have. But unfortunately, we're just not going to have them on our side. But again, the important thing to realize is I don't believe we're going to be here when that type of stuff is coming into effect. And when I say we're not going to be here, I mean those who believe in Jesus Christ because we've got the rapture, the promise of the blessed hope that's going to take us away from all these things. We just went over a pile of news that just shows how off the rails this world really is when it comes to us as humans, but how completely in control it is when God is sitting above in control of everything. It's off the rails for us, but it's in control for him. 